Saber is a character from the mobile game Fate Grand Order made by the Japanese company Type Moon. Saber Altria, or Artoria Lily, is the younger version of the heroic spirit of King Arthur Pendragon. Heroic spirits are heroes of myth and legend summoned into the modern day to fight a so-called Holy Grail War. I got this figure five years ago. It's a special release figure in 2017, and it's a version of Saber Artoria Lily without her knight armor. I have already opened this figure before. Inside the box, we have the main figure, an extra faceplate, and the sword. We also have the usual spare hands, a Figma stand, and a zip bag. You can make a base out of the cardboard insert, and there's a small sheet of paper with instructions on how to attach the accessories. This version of Saber wears an off-white dress with black and white accent colors. Her dress has black lines that look like an outline of a flower when viewed from a high angle. She wears a ponytail with a black ribbon at the back. Her hair is yellow and her eyes are green with a calm smiling expression. She has a neck collar that is actually separate from the dress and wears white gloves. The dress has what seems like a softer and fluffy fabric underneath. She has black stockings or tights and wears black heels. There's almost no obvious paint imperfection on this figure. For a 5-year-old figure, the paint quality has aged well. Similar to other Figma, her head rotates 360 degrees, has side-to-side -side motion, and she can look down and has especially good range of motion when looking up. Her hair is articulated with movement on the ribbon and a joint on her ponytail. Arms can go sideways all the way up with no restrictions from any armor or clothing. The shoulders can rotate 360 degrees and has rotation on the upper arm. We have the usual Figma elbow bend and her hands can rotate and swivel. Her torso can rotate 360 degrees but has a limited torso bend. Her dress can move up towards the sides, and here you can see the joints under the dress that allow movement. Her lower limbs can move sideways, forward and back, but the range is limited by her dress. Her knees can bend this much. Her feet has a slight rotation, very minimal side-to-side -side swivel, and front-to-back swivel on the ankles. She has three and a half pairs of hands. Opened hands, closed fists, a pair for holding the sword, and one hand for holding the scabbard. She has an extra faceplate with a laughing expression and reddish cheeks which matches the character of a younger saber. The main accessory is the sword Caliburn. It resembles a medieval longsword or a claimer that is usually two-hand wielded. The fine details on the sword and scabbard make it fit for a knight. Starting from the pommel, the sword has gold embellishments with a blue handle and a gold cross guard. Red gemstones adorn the sword and the blue and gold pattern extends into the blade. The sword's middle part or the fuller is in gold and there are etched symbols in the middle. At the point of the blade is a runic pattern. 
This design is echoed on the scabbard. There are tons of saber figmas, but each one has a different take on the character. This one is a Vartoria or King Arthur, and the outfit is called the Third Ascension version. It's different from the armored sabers, and it looks like something you can blend in with other characters in normal clothes. I like how the stand connects at her back because it's on the figure's center of gravity. This is beneficial for the wing mid-air poses. The lines on her dress are clean, and I haven't really noticed any glaring paint imperfections on the figure. The details on the Caliburn is top-notch and well-painted, and I wish they would do this for all Figma accessories. However, the torso articulation is a letdown, and there's really no other accessory aside from the sword and the faceplate. As a special edition figure, they could have added more hand parts and another extra faceplate. Five years after this was released, it seems Figma hasn't really changed much in terms of joints and articulation. You can see the joints on the shoulders and arms, and this is the same on the more recent Saber Okita. I told myself I'm going to have just one Saber action figure, and I chose this one over the others. I don't regret it, but if a new Saber Figma comes with an improved take, I might consider getting a new one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my channel by hitting like and subscribe. This is Al and I'll see you on the next one.